The name of the movie is Savage Dog. The film takes place somewhere in southern Burma, about a strong person who faced death and was called a legend. We see him in prison and his name is Martin. Yum the guard comes to take him. We find out that the French left this place in 1954, but Indochina offered safety to people like the Nazis, European war criminals, and other unwanted people. We see Martin fighting a very strong person, but he counters his punches and punches him strong. Despite being hit hard, he overcame his opponent with a knockout. We see one of the referees go to the defeated opponent and tell him that his name is John, and he tells him that he is known by many names, but the most famous name for him is the Executioner. He told him that he would face him in a fight but he would use a sharp blade. The opponent told him that they told him that if he got into a fight, he would be set free. But the Executioner told him that he had lost and had to face death. They get into a fight and the Executioner manages to kill him easily. Then the guards take Martin to the cell. On the way he meets a beautiful girl carrying roses. The guard harasses this girl, which angered Martin and hit the guard. After that, we see him in his cell looking through the window and seeing the beautiful girl sending flowers to the prison warden. We see the prison warden looking at a picture of him and his wife. Then he grabs the rose and throws it on the ground. Then we see the girl visiting Martin in prison. She tells him that it was unnecessary for him to hit the guard. She told him that she had asked one of the guards about the reason for the existence of a colonial police station in which there is nothing but a small prison and there is a prisoner who has been imprisoned for three years. They told her that most of those in prison are homeless and hopeless. She told him she thought of helping in any way. He provokes her about her visiting the prison warden every two weeks with flowers. But she changes the subject and tells him that she will come to visit him next week, to whom he is asking her not to help him and not to waste her time with him. Then Mr. Harrison comes to the warden of the prison and tells him that the British intelligence service wants to take Martin because of the great crimes he did in Britain. But the warden of the prison denies the existence of a person of that name and asks a guard to take Harrison outside. After a week, we see the girl come to visit Martin in prison. She tells him a story about a war dog that she had previously saved from death. He asks her why she came to visit him. She tells him because he doesn't belong here. Then the guards come and take Martin to the warden and give him a drink. The prison warden informs him that he assaulted a high-ranking officer and that he has served a sentence of three years out of five months. He asks what is the explanation for that. Martin answers him and tells him that means the criminal is not alone in the room. Then the warden tells him that he had been sentenced to death in Britain and that they are all the same and gives him an example of Rastignac, who fought the Third Reich. As for Corporal Boone, he is a Vietnamese paratrooper and he used to be a hero, but now he is wanted by the Vietnamese communist organization as a traitor. As for Mr. Amarillo, he was loyal and fought to the end for Berlin. Finally, he tells him that he will fulfill his promise to him and set him free. He was untied, he was shocked and ran out. Corporal Boone asks the warden if this decision was correct. He tells him he wants the British agent to be out of his affairs. The first place Martin goes is to the girl who used to visit him and take care of him. When he goes to her, she introduces him to the person who adopted her and who was in the bar and his name is Valentine. She asks Valentine to be friends and goes out. The bar owner tells him that he can use his muscles by being the bar's bodyguard. He tells him that he learned that he is a strong fighter through the girl. He told him that she used to visit him every week and bring flowers for the prison warden. Then he shows him a picture of the girl's parents, and he tells him that you will not believe me when I tell you that her father is the prison warden. She visits him, hoping that he will admit that she is his daughter. But the prison warden refuses to meet her. He tells him that the prison warden was married to a girl, but he suspected that she was cheating on him. When she gave birth to Isabel, he suspected that she was not his daughter and he refused to acknowledge her. He told him that he had seen it all and that he had adopted Isabel, where he tells him that she is a good girl and warns him that if he tries to harm her in any way, he will kill him. Then he goes to the room where he will sleep and trains with the possibilities available to him. Then he spends his time in the bar with them. He thanks Valentine for helping him and he has a crush on Isabel and spends most of his time with her. 
In the bar there were two people fighting so Martin went to break up the fight, but he hit one of them hard and kicked him out of the bar. Then one of this guy's men comes out and fights with Martin, but he was strong and countered the punches and hit them hard. Valentine comes out and tells him to stop, after which Isabel bandages his wounds, where Valentine was not satisfied with his actions. Rastignac and his men enter the tavern, he talks to Martin, Valentine asks Isabel to come home. He talks to Martin and tells him that he disturbed the most dangerous man in Indochina and he told them that he needed them now more than ever and also he told him that Colonel Hans had a champion boxer where he wanted him to fight alongside them and so he would earn a lot of money and get protection. But Martin refuses, Rastignac asks him to reconsider. Valentine tells him that he has to go fight because he saw the need to fight. He bids Isabel farewell and asks her not to come and watch him fight. Then he goes to Hans and tells him that he has accepted the offer. Then he gets into a fight with a hero, but he defeats him easily, which made Hans happy about that. We see Mr. Harrison in the bar. He is talking to Valentine and tells him that he is looking for an Irish boxer. Valentine tells him that indeed an Irishman has come to the bar and he is asking him what he did. Harrison tells him that in 1946 he planted explosive bombs targeting royal police and special forces units, and that his father and brother were part of this operation, but they died in the explosion, and he is now wanted for justice because he is sentenced to death. Valentine tells him that he can't help him with anything. We watch Martin fight against different champions and defeat them, he had a lot of fans. We see Isabel continuing to send roses to her father, but this time he decided to send her a letter, stating that he loved her mother and loved her as well, but now he sees that she is not his daughter and that her mother is a traitor. In the bar Valentine talks to Martin and asks him about his condition, he tells him that he has defeated all his opponents. Valentine tells him that there is a British agent looking for him and so he asks him to run away and take Isabel with him. Then he gives him his military passport and tells him that after tomorrow's fighting ends, he must win the money and flee. As for Valentine, he will travel with his wife to her country and will buy a tavern there. After that, we see Hans talking to Martin and telling him that no one will bet against him. And this is because everyone is sure of him that he will win, and because of that, they will not get the money, so he understands that he wants him to lose the fight. He agrees to it, but only on the condition that he takes a quarter of the amount that they will earn. Valentine talks to his wife as he tells her that they should go away, because he has mortgaged his bar and is confident that Martin will win, but his wife gets angry at him for risking the bar. In the ring everyone was confident that Martin would win the fight as always. The opponent starts attacking him, but Martin defends himself, inflicting blows on him with his hands and legs, to show them that he is in a real fight and not to show the audience that he wants to lose. Then he makes the opponent hit him several times and finally he receives a knockout and falls to the ground. He was claiming that he lost consciousness. After the end of the fight Paul goes to give money to Martin, he tells him that his fans today knew that he is a fighter who has no honor and that Hans and Rastignac are waiting for him. In the tavern, we see Rastignac and his men entering the tavern, and he tells Valentine that the person he bet on lost the fight. This was shocking to him because he had lost the bar. When Isabel heard this she was furious and told them she would not allow anyone to take the pub from them. She hits one of them with a pen, but he hit her and knocked her to the ground. Valentine gets angry and points the gun at them, but Rastignac takes the gun from him and shoots him dead. Isabel attacks him, but he also shoots her and she falls. Martin arrives at the scene and when Rastignac sees him, he shoots him. They take him and Isabel and bury them in mud, but fate was in their favor as they did not die. He manages to get out of the mud and takes Isabel and bandages her wounds with herbs, then he leaves her for people in the village to take care of her. He wanted revenge as he bandaged his wounds and trained as little as possible. Then he goes to the tavern that is now owned by Rastignac. He kills the people present and enters the bar where Valentine's wife was. When Amarillo saw him, he asked her to give him a drink. 
but he told him that he would kill him and his men and not leave anyone behind. Indeed, he attacks them and kills them with a sharp blade, but Amarillo manages to escape from the bar and go to Hans. He tells Hans that Martin is not dead, but Hans tells him he will handle it and tells him to go home and fetch all their money in the safe. He goes with a group of guards and he is nervous, but Martin appears and shoots the guards and kills them. Then he reaches Amarillo, who tries to entice him to give him money and takes the gun out of the bag. But Martin shot his hands and then killed him. Then he blows up the place. At this time Hans and Rastignac prepare to confront Martin. Hans secures the police station from the outside with soldiers and barricades. Martin arrives, sneaks through the back door, and gets rid of the guards. Then he is throwing grenades at them. He had the opportunity to kill Hans, but he refused to kill him so easily. After that he kills the guards and gets to Hans' office. When Hans tries to provoke Martin, he drops his weapon and he takes the sword and stabs him. Then Corporal Boone comes and they get into a fist fight. Boone was skilled in the fight and managed to land several punches on Martin. But he finally managed to kill him by shooting him with the gun. After that he went out and confronted the guards with weapons until he reached Rastignac. They shot at each other and were injured, but Rastignac managed to escape from the place quickly. Then Martin takes the letter Hans wrote to Isabel and leaves the village, all the villagers support him. Then he leaves the bag containing the letter somewhere for Isabel. Then he goes to Rastignac who was in a hut far from the village, Rastignac asks him to fight man to man. A fierce fight takes place between them, but in the end Martin manages to kill Rastignac with a sharp blade. We watch Isabel holding the bag and seeing the letter her father wrote to her as part of the letter was burnt and only the part in which he wrote that he loves her and her mother remained. She was affected by this and believed that he confessed that she was his daughter before he died. Then Mr. Harrison arrives at Martin and informs him that he has been sentenced to death and must travel with him. But Harrison knew Martin would kill him before they got there, so he told him he wanted him to work for him as he was assembling a team of local activists and he wanted them to work for him and make money. Indeed he agrees and goes with him. If you want interesting movie recaps like these, like, share, and subscribe to follow us for more movie recaps.